Namaste, uh, this is Neeraj Paudya. Uh, I have been working at Kathmandu University for the last eight years as an associate professor of economics department. Uh, we have been running this bachelor's in economics program since 2013. And we have also launched our new master's program, master's in economics, MECON. Uh, that is uh, going to start uh, from February 25th. Uh, so we have been running this bachelor's program and from our experience long, I mean more, uh, almost 10 years of experience giving this bachelor's degree in economics, we have come to realize that uh, there is a demand for a uh, master's program in economics. Our bachelor's program has become a very successful, very you know, high demand program uh, in Nepal. Uh, so uh, we hope to extend uh, our bachelor's program we hope to uh, provide this master's program, graduate program, which is a specialization on top of the bachelor's program. So economics is basically uh, a science which uh, uh, you know trains students to solve problems, to conceptualize problems in a very quantitative, in a, in a very mathematical uh, format. So students with mathematics background or engineering background might find it a lot easier uh, to do masters in economics and our masters in economics program is the same thing with the bachelors in economics program is more skill oriented and research oriented so basically we'll be departing a lot of quantitative research skills to our students so basically our economics program i can summarize it in uh, three uh, themes Okay, so the, so the first part is the quantitative part, so mathematics and statistics. That has to be a, a very strong as an economist. So that's what market demands from an economics graduate. Strong mathematics and statistics. Strong economics, of course, we are doing masters in economics program. So economic theory has to be uh, very strong uh, with the students. And the third skill that you need is computing. So everything is based on data these days, big data. So you need to do a lot of data modeling. So you need to have some programming skills, computing skills. So these three skills are required for any economics graduate student. And we uh, try our best to give these skills to our students. Our master's program is a fully uh, semester system program. So all the course evaluation uh, will be done by the respective professor. So 100% of the course evaluation will be done inside the class and the evaluation will include things like uh, assignments, things like tests, things like paper writing, term papers, group presentations and even field visits. So uh, a lot of different activities will be involved uh, to evaluate our students uh, to, to give the final assessment of the students performance and this master's program uh, is open uh, for students uh, from any background um, but I would like to say that students with quantitative background or science background uh, it would be easier for them uh, to do our master's in economics program but uh, it is not to discourage those who are from non-technical background they are also welcome but they have to go through uh, the um, uh, selection procedure, which includes two steps. Uh, the first is the entrance test, which is basically uh, a quantitative test. Uh, you can find the sample question in our website. Uh, actually, the website includes all the required information that you need to make your decision, uh, like syllabus or course contents or entrance test, you know, uh, sample timing, you know, schedule and so on. So you have to pass that entrance test and then you have to face the interview. So any students, um, you know, with a bachelor's degree, equivalent of bachelor's degree or master's degree are eligible to apply uh, for the course. Uh, so they have to apply and they have to pass the entrance test and face the interview to get the admission in the program. Uh, we have 20 seats available right now. Uh, approved seats. So total fee structure is uh, uh, 4 lakh rupees, uh, Nepali rupees, uh, for the 
two years program. And, uh, you have to pay uh, one lakh and fifty thousand rupees at the beginning of the uh, admission process as an admission fee, and the rest of the fee you have to pay, uh, uh, you know, bit by bit uh, every semester. So that is how you have to pay the fee. Kathmandu University also has provision for providing scholarship uh, to our students, uh, both uh, merit-based merit-based scholarship, right? those students who top their class, they, they can apply for the uh, scholarship, and also need-based uh, UGC formula-based scholarship, UGC funded scholarship uh, is also available there. Uh, so uh, anybody can apply for those scholarship schemes. Talking about the job market for economics graduates, uh, basically, so wherever the uh, the need for research is there, wherever there are lots of data to be utilized, uh, there will be a market for economics graduates because that's where we train our students uh, to be skillful, to be skilled. And so any area which involves research, problem identification, and problem solving uh, will uh, help will be the area where economics graduates uh, can find uh, job opportunities. So for example, I can give you some examples. For example, banking sectors uh, will be a very good example where economics graduates can find good job opportunities. Or um, uh, many economists work at, for example, central banks across the world, around the world. And different multinational companies also, even companies like Amazon, even places like NASA, they also hire economists because their skills are needed there and economists you can find economists working in various different areas like like education like health you know there are health economists there are education economists so all these sectors need the skills that economists are trained for so this is for uh, industry uh, sector uh, job market or you can also do uh, apply for or, or you can also pursue your career in academic sector you can join universities you can be a academician professor or you can after doing the master's degree you can also apply for uh, PhD programs uh, across the world even our bachelor's uh, level students are applying in uh, one of the most prestigious universities around the world for masters and for PhD programs so there are a couple of things that separates uh, our master's program from other master's programs uh, in the country. So the first thing is our master's program is full of um, you know applied uh, skills. Uh, students are not only taught about economic theories but also they are uh, taught about how to utilize those theories to solve actual real problems. So you have to get your hand dirty when you do master's in economics at Kathmandu University. So you will get field experience. So you will get to learn a lot about data analytics okay and so a lot of practical skills so as a master's student student you'll be you are you'll be required to produce a, a a top quality academic paper so that kind of skill is very unique uh, in the nepalese context and that you can find in Kathmandu university at Kathmandu university classes are small as i told you uh, there are like only 20 seats available, so individual students will get uh, individual care from professors. Okay, so that also separates a Kathmandu University uh, economics program from other uh, universities. So I would like to welcome prospective students uh, to apply for our Masters in Economics program. And we ensure the quality of the program. We claim that the quality of, of our program is up to the standard, up to the mark. For this kind of program, uh, you don't need to go abroad. You don't need to find other universities around the world. You know, it's, it's available in Nepal. So I'd like to uh, request you, I'd like to welcome you all to Kathmandu University to apply in our Masters in Economics program. Thank you.